<laughs> Amos was a preacher man, a prophet of the Lord. He spoke his truth to power, and his tongue cut like a sword. He told the priests and presidents they needed to repent. He told them how God felt about their wicked government. Oh, that Amos walked alone some way. Oh, that Amos, well, he had his say. Amos was a rebel, he was loud and he was bold. With a mouth like that, he never had a chance of getting old. Amos did not worry much about some piddly sins. He preached against the systems where the seeds of sin began. To those that made the workers slaves and stole the widows might. That's where Amos took his stand and where he pitched his fight. That Amos walked alone some way. Oh, that Amos. Well, he had his say. Amos was a rebel. He was loud and he was bold. With a mouth like that, he never had much chance of getting old. He did not like religion as he saw it all around. With fancy shows and threats and blows to keep a poor man down. It was nothing but a carnival, and he knew what that meant. Day old bread and circuses to keep the sheep content. Oh, that Amos walked alone some way. Oh, that Amos, well, he had his say. Amos was a rebel, he was loud and he was bold. With a mouth like that, he never had much chance of getting old. Well, I reckon that old Amos did not make too many friends. I'm thinking when his life began, he knew how it might end. He called down kings and bureaucrats, and he never cracked a smile. And they tell us he got murdered, but I hope he died with style. That Amos walked alone some way. Oh, that Amos, well, he had his say. The final game of compromise was not the game he'd play. Don't you wonder what old Amos just might preach about today?